Welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and we are playing Prey on the Xbox One. So we're on a we're on some kind of research station facility, and everything has gone awry. Things these things called mimics. Wait, Doctor, this is Doctor Bellamy's office, maybe. That means there's a bad guy. Die! Die! Ah! That freaks the crap out of me. Every time. Every time you see... Like, I gotta be much more careful about looking at my surroundings. Oh, wow. I had no idea that this game kind of, uh, what is this? Oh, that was our key card. Okay. Every time we look at our surroundings, if we see something that is a uh, duplicate, that is probably a mimic. There's our last test. So we were being tested on indefinitely. While I'm not a huge fan of reading in a lot of games, where it, it it's on the other side over there. Man, these things like jump behind you and oh yeah, we can search these mimics and take their organs. That's really neat. I was really wanting some. Organs. So the question is, why were we being experimented on? Where did these mimics come from? All right. Not a whole lot of things to find here. A lot of reading. curious if we volunteered to have this done to us. I doubt it. To keep waking up like each day like nothing has happened. So the interesting thing is there's another path. If there's another path there's probably secrets to be found. I don't know but we've got a key card. Thank you. 
That's a big something in there. Oh, what sweet crap is this? That was a phantom. Type an anthropantasmus. Keep moving. No, I wanted to sit around and wait for it. Thanks, January. is another I don't think we possess the skill those things. <laughs> it's pretty bad when you hate the basic starting enemy of your game. Glue canisters. And a glue cannon. Extinguishes flames and temporarily stops electric arcs. Glue can be used as a climbable platform. Well, that's interesting as well. We're going to go ahead and quick save it here. I just want to see I saw that you could get up here and I was curious is there anything up higher it seems like there is I don't know if I've just gotten someplace I wasn't supposed to, but I figured out I could do it, and so we're here. I have no idea if this is an area that's only accessible this way. We at least get a bird's eye view of the area down there. There is a mimic. Yay. Interesting that they decided a glue gun was <laughs> the weapon of choice here. Disruptor stun gun. It'll knock out human targets.
So we've just found our third type of weapon here. You know, it's like with these mimics, even one of those, any one of these chairs could be a mimic. You just gotta look for things that are out of place. There's two somethings down there. There's a testing area beyond here, but we've gotten up here. I don't think I have any kinds of special codes to get through. And I haven't really <clears throat> gotten anything to augment myself. Because it seems like there's different like augments that you can get. Unpowered. So while we've made it up here, I don't know if there's going to be any real end game. Is all of our... Yes, this is the elevator that has our, our glue. At least we know what we're walking into here. There's going to be mimics. So this glass repairs itself? That's neat. They didn't want nobody getting into security. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Yeah. Splat goes the mimic. Couldn't really hear that last message. Okay, that's the display case with the Neuromod. So we'll get over there in a second. I'm assuming Neuromods are things like repair and hacking and ability to carry larger amounts of things. Why he wound up in a pile on the floor. All right. Oh, what's this? In Projector colors are still wrong. What the little Booger? Nine millimeter bullets. It's a good start, knowing that we're gonna get regular guns. I'm a bigger fan of trying to attack these things with regular guns than glue. Though it seems like this is the kind of game where ammo will be sparing. Yep. Oh no! Well, that was the end of me. 
Neat. Let's see here. I'm going to doubt that it did any auto saves. I hope it did. Oh, thank goodness. Didn't mean to kick that those shotgun shells out of my inventory. I think we will go ahead and avoid the pile of evil buckets. Thing took a lot of health. A lot. I don't trust anything that I see more than one of, like... Dive. I see you this time. I will beat you like a bad donkey. I can't even go to the bathroom. I don't know why we're taking crumpled toilet paper, but this is the highlight of our journey so far. Alright, we're going to go ahead and grab our Neuromod. Navigate to the Neuromods. Alright, it already starts us there. Okay. So we can either choose the Scientist, Engineer, or Security. So Security boosts your physical abilities, skill with firearms, and security tactics. Engineer is modifying your gear, repairing, and crushing problems with your wrench. Scientist is using knowledge of science and medicine and specialized lab equipment to take to your advantage. So we can either take better med more heals from med kits. Okay. Uh, I see. So we're hacking one, which is going to be pretty important. Let's see. Throwing objects can hurt enemies. That might be good. We, re we have one thing that we know we can repair. We have lots of things that we could probably hack. Security... Alright, I want to be able to hack straight away. So we're going to go to Scientist for now. Hacking 1. Pretty early on, we'll want to take that one from the bottom half. Because... Oh! Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now... Let's get you to the main lobby. Robert, Alice, thank God, no one else is... Well... All right. Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I... I... Kid. Jesus. 
You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevator. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. All right. We're going to quick save here before we go into the the bucket challenge. Die. Die, little buggers. We done it. Guarding anything down here? Some spare parts. There it is. Alright, so now that we've got. What does this require? Aha! Hacking. Oh, we have a time limit. So it hurts you when you fail. That was much better. A weapon upgrades kit seems really good. So, what can we upgrade with this? You can't upgrade a wrench, but you can upgrade other weapons. We're going to hold off and figure out what works well for us. That's security level 2, so... So now that we have hacking one, I want to go back up here to our the place that we discovered. I feel I still feel pretty proud of. Yeah, I guess a, a med kit probably isn't the worst idea. There they are. That's all of our med kits, though. Now, if we take that one hack thing, then we'll, like, if we find more... Oh, that's a level four hack. Ain't no way we're getting in there. Not powered. And 
And that's a level 2 hack. Probably should have paid attention to this. It makes me think that we're going to revisit this later, unless there's some kind of clue that has the passwords for these rooms, but I don't think there is. Fascinating. This is the level 4 lock. Yes. You gotta check your trash cans. You never know when you're gonna find some kind of neuromod or some kind of good crap in there. Let's not fall straight down. We can fall on our glue. All right, we're gonna press on here. Oh wow, time is getting away from us. So before we press on, we're going to, it feels like we're not getting very far in each video, but we eventually will as we learn more about how everything works. So hope you guys are enjoying it. Give us a thumbs up, make sure to uh, give us a comment and let us know what you think. And lastly, subscribe and we'll keep the action coming your way. Until next time, it's Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com and I